Bible Baptist Church, where Reverend Walter L. Ingram Jr. is pastor. We invite you to worship with us now as Reverend Ingram brings us a word from the Lord.
still washing up. Still cleansing up. Still saving up. The blood! The blood of the Lamb! The blood! The blood of the Lamb is still working! The fountain is filled with the blood! And the blood! Still works! Hallelujah, hallelujah. My Lord, my Lord. Blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Submit ourselves not to thee that you might use this vessel, yes, that these your people might be edified, yes, that a lost soul might be saved, yes. and that your name, your name might be glorified. Yes. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, that we might answer the call. In the name of the Son of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. The Spirit of the Lord is with us. Yes. Wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, it's a good place for us to be. Yes. Yes. Unto our pastor in his absence. Amen. amen. Keep him lifted up in our prayers. Amen. Who's our um, corporate guest minister? to the officers of this church and visiting officers that be in here, <sighs> to this choir who believe that the blood. Woo! Yes. Amen. 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 Ah. Amen. To the ushers who are standing on their post, I used to be one of y'all. Yeah. Amen. 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 The book of Matthew. All right. The book of Matthew, chapter 10. The book of Matthew, chapter 10. Matthew, chapter 10. Chapter 10, the book of Matthew. I come back to encourage your hearts. From Matthew, chapter 10, verse 1. All right. Verse 1. Matthew chapter 10. Verse 1. I like to read it from the King James translation. Amen. Amen. I'm going to be preaching from the King James translation. Amen. amen. You have it, say amen. Amen. Let us read verse 1 together. Read. Amen. 
in this little time together. It is my desire that you would simply answer the call. He had called unto him his twelve disciples. The only thing I want you to do is to answer the call. We get many calls in our lives. Um, at the school house, there's a bell that rings. And when the bell rings, it is an indication and it is a requirement that we would answer the call. You know, in the old days, we would dial zero on our phone. And when we dial zero, the operator would answer the call. Yeah. There was a time when, when we would go to work, that they would blow a whistle uh, to start work. They'd blow a whistle for the first break. Blow a whistle to end the first break. They blow the whistle for lunchtime. They blow the whistle to the end of lunchtime. Amen. They blow the whistle for the second break. They blow the whistle to end the second break. Then mm -hmm. they blow a whistle to end the day. Mm -hmm. And then each time that the whistle was blown, we had to answer the call. When you die 411, uh -huh. you expect someone to answer the call. When an emergency occurs in your life and, and you need medical assistance and you can't get anywhere to go, no way to go, you call 911 and you expect the dispatcher to answer the call. Uh, when I was a little boy, I was away from the house and my mama couldn't see me. And she called me Ivy. And when she said Ivy Lee, I don't care how far away from where I was, I better have answered. Huh? When you die, one, one, one. You expect someone to answer the call. Huh? When you die one, 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 the father answers the call. When you die one, 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 the son answers the call. When you die one, 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 the Holy Ghost answers the call. When you die one, 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 God always hears and he answers. I come out here to encourage you because we need to answer the call. In the verse, the first word is and. And refers to an that something that's happened before. Immediately before this verse. The Lord said to the disciples, you need to pray to the Father that he would send some laborers. Because the, what? The harvest is famous. But the laborers in feel. The disciples prayed. And because they prayed, they prayed for us to answer the call. Way back then, while Jesus was walking on the face of the earth, they were praying that we would answer the call. Uh, yeah, yeah. In chapter 9, 
if you look at it carefully, you will find that that was a paralytic man. Man had problems walking. And Jesus made a call. He said to the man, take up your bed yeah. and walk. The man heard Jesus and he answered the call. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. He, he was on his way to the rich ruler's house. When he got to the house, he spoke to the dead daughter and she answered the call. Along the way, ran across two blind men. What y'all want? We want to see. Uh, he answered their call. Yeah. Old dumb man was hanging around. Huh? That demonic spirit was in him. Jesus spoke. To the dominant spirit, and he asked the call. He came out of me, and the man began to speak. Yeah, all that had happened, and then Jesus said, "And when? And when? When? When you hear his voice?" You need to help set the call. When? When you realize huh, that he is speaking to you, you need to answer the call. Why? Because he has a mission for you. So when you hear his voice, you need to answer the call. Huh? When we're looking at this scripture here, let's, let's identify. See? You got a he, you got a him, and you got a he. You got a he, you got a him, and you got a he. Well, 
Jesus called back. And Matthew heard his voice and he answered the call and took Jesus home with him that day. When we hear his voice, we need to answer the call and go with him or take him with us. But we need to answer the call. Yeah. That kid said, what up in the tree? <laughs> and Jesus was coming back. Uh -huh. He stopped and stood there and said, Zacchaeus, come down. Yeah. I'm going home with you today. Right. And Zacchaeus answered, woo oh. Huh? Yeah. Zacchaeus answered. Because that's, I, I, I just come back up. He's calling. Uh -huh. And we need to answer the call. Yes, yes. We walking around talking about how bad stuff is. Yeah, we 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 talk about how Trump acts. Well, <laughs> we talk about all that stuff. Well, but we ain't answering. The call. Yes, sir. Huh? Praise, praise. Listen. Listen. I'm going to help myself. Listen. He told them disciples, Go! You see, I'm going to talk about folks. Uh -huh. Talking about stuff. Yeah. That ain't got nothing to do with why he called us. Yeah. Talking about everything. Yes, sir. He called us. To go teach yeah. to all the nations. All right. He called us to baptize those who answer the call yeah. in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Yes, then he called us to teach them to observe all things yeah. whatsoever he commands. Yes, but we, we won't answer that mercy. Yeah. This call. Uh -huh. uh, in Mark and Luke, one of them. It sketched me now. He said, go preach. Well, yeah. uh -huh. Huh? We need to answer the call. Yeah. We, we are the reason. Why the world we're living in right now uh -huh. is in the condition that it's in. Because yeah. we will not answer. Yeah. 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 I hear you say, I answer. Mm -hmm. My dad told me when I was a little boy. I heard the Lord calling. Uh -huh. I heard the Lord calling. Yeah. I heard what he said. My baby said to hear is to obey. Amen. So obviously, we have not. Amen. Because we have not. Seems like we had a hurry call we would have. Yes, sir. Yeah. When you heard the woman call you out? Yes, sir. Hang around. All right. But you don't want to get embarrassed when that beat you in front of everybody. Amen. <laughs> you know the Bible says beat them, right? Yeah. Proverbs chapter 23. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 23. Don't laugh, it ain't no joke. We've been joking with that too long. We ain't been beat. We've been laughing about it. We ain't been beat. Y'all hear me? We ain't been beat. Listen, beat and abuse ain't the same thing. The Bible says beat them. And you will save their soul. But we want them to go to hell so we don't beat them. If you answer the call, you will receive power. I'm in the verse. He said, he gave them. Because they answered his call, he gave them. Because they answered his call. Complaining about circumstances. The power is 
is in your heart. All right. Listen. When you accept it, the call. That means you accept it. The Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior when you answer the call. When you answer, Jesus came unto you. And he told some disciples, hey, where I am, that the Father won't be on so. Huh? So now, we complain because we're not answering the call. Yeah. Although we have the power against unclean spirit. Well. Listen, because you have the power over unclean spirit and unclean spirit are running rush on over you, your children, your community, your nation, your world. But you have the power yeah. against Then sin came into the 
world. And from sin coming into the world, we're not victim to unclean spirit, to disease and sickness, because sin came into the world. Now, we don't quite have the power to cast sin out of the world. But it is sin. See, that's what we're missing now. We, we not answering the call because we won't teach. We won't teach. You, you expect the pastor ain't gonna do all the teaching. Grandmama called when she was young. But grandmama gone now. And it's left up to you to do the teaching that grandmama did. When she was here. That song, uh, you can tell me, that's a silly song. Amen. When she was here, yeah. she sung that song. Yes, sir. Now she is gone. Well. Somebody yeah. got to sing that song. All right, now. So that we all know yeah. everything is moving. Yes, sir. Yeah. What you got to answer? <laughs> the call yeah. to really understand that everything is moving. Listen, you know, I, I, you know, I always talk about children and how we treat them. Listen, my people, there's a lot of children attached to us. Well, yeah. And we don't know how to answer the call. Amen. They are attached to us yes, sir. by God. Yeah. Don't you don't understand. All right. <clears throat> These children that come to my pilgrim, the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren that all are attached to all of us that are here in my pilgrim. Yeah. Amen. God has given these children to us for a reason. Because they have no power. Listen. Listen to this now. The little children, they have no power. Brothers. Y'all might not remember, but there was a time right. when we was in the house. Yeah. When our main purpose would be to make sure nobody in the house didn't get hurt. Amen. Anybody right. come in there and snatch one up. Nobody hurt nobody. Oh, well. That's why we was at the house. That was the main protection of the woman and the family. Yeah. Yeah. Not nobody in protect. Because yeah. we won't answer. The call. The call. Huh? We got too many women. Living in a single parent household. Yeah. We got too many women living by themselves, or they just want to be living by themselves. Uh -huh. Men, the same thing. Uh -huh. We got too many men living in houses by themselves because they just want to be by themselves. Uh -huh. When the Lord found Adam and the God, it wasn't no match for him, Adam was incomplete. So God made Adam a woman. Brothers, we are not accepting the call to take care of these women. Every woman is supposed to have a cup. Every woman is supposed to have a cup. She's supposed to have a protector. Every woman ought to have a cup. Every woman ought to be subject to a man. Now listen. Yeah, you ain't authorized to beat no woman into subjection. In Ephesians, it don't say beat her into subjection. The only thing he told you to do is love her. That's all he told you to do. That's all he told me to do. He didn't love her. He ain't care for the beat into subjection. Now I got way old that Hey, hey. And he told the women, the wife, to admit yourself to your own husband. Uh, you ain't married to me, you don't submit to me. Uh, I don't care if I'm ever Christian. You ain't married to me, you don't submit to me. You submit to your own husband. I'm good at 
standing for what to do. <laughs> Listen, y'all. The Lord give us power. Listen. Brothers, he give us power to love these women. Amen. We just won't ask the call. Huh? They he give y'all the power to submit to us. And let me tell y'all something. That's a unique power. To be able to say, ask more. <laughs> That's a unique power to be able to submit to a man and listen and make him do it and he think it's his idea. <laughs> the power, but you got to answer the call to get the power. You got to submit to God to get the power. When he calls, you got the answer. Otherwise, you cannot. Y'all see that? Look, if we teach enough of the word, we have the capacity to overcome unclean spirits. We put the power in folks to defeat disease and sickness. You watch folks. Watch folks. The closer folks are to God, the less sickness they have. Look at the folks around you in your community. The folks, the closer the folks are to God, the less sickness they have. I ain't saying don't get sick. But listen, we can even understand this too. Just cause one is sick. Don't mean they got nothing to do with them. Yeah. Yeah. So when my mom was sick, I learned a great lesson. Because well. I went home for three days and stayed there with my dad. Well. Now, I don't believe my mom was sick just for that. But from that, I learned a great lesson. Bless uh, his holy name. If my wife gets sick, Pray God she know, but I know what they do not. Amen. My dad showed me yeah. through my mama's. The power, y'all, the power, the power, the power. The power is in the blood. Yeah. The power, y'all, is in the blood. Yeah. We forget that. The power is Jesus came bringing us the blood. Came down through 40 and two generations. Bringing us the blood. Because there is power in the blood. Came down through 42 generations. Came to Bethlehem. Bringing us woo the power. Because we will have to be able to answer the call. See, Jesus, huh? when God was looking for somebody, he came all the way down to 2013. Saw hands and looked at hands and said, no, hands ain't gonna do it. he said, hands ain't gonna do it. And then he said, Jesus, I ain't seen nobody else die now. That would get these folks to answer the call. You gonna have to go. So that they would have enough power to answer the call. Through 42 the lamb slain before the foundation of the world was laid. That lamb came so that we would be able to answer. Huh? To answer the call. See, see, y'all. Listen. We, we, we dwell a lot on the miracles that Jesus was. Yes, sir. We talk about the things he can't die. Blind men. Yeah. Straightening up bent over women. Uh -huh. Drying up issues of blood. Yeah. Casting out demons. Yeah. Uh, make the lame men walk. All right. Dumb people and yeah. Dead folk come back alive. All right. We all wrapped up in the miraculous about yeah. our Lord. Mm -hmm. We all even got over that. Those things were done. Yeah. So that those people back then would believe. Yeah. And they're documented for us now that we also might believe. Yeah. But those miracles will work so that the folk would believe that he was the Christ. Right. So 
but then after he got through with all those miracles, got through all that teaching, uh -huh. now it's time for Jesus to answer your call. It's time for Jesus to answer your call. Jesus was called yeah. for the cross. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. It's time for Jesus uh -huh. to answer uh -huh. your call. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. He was going up God got the hill uh -huh. answering the cross. The cross. Yeah. Oh, Carrie Hill was calling him. Yeah. Come, Jesus. Jesus answered the call. Right. He stumbled on his way up the hill. Yeah. But he was going up the hill yeah. so that he could answer uh. the call. Mm. Look at it. Mm. Kind of crazy to me. Got up there. This is God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He up there laying down. Most nearly nailed. Nearly. Uh, yeah. Huh? Because he had to answer. See, see people are like, but he could have, he could have, he could have stopped, he could stop it. He had to answer the call. Amen. He had to answer the call. So he nailed his hand. They lifted at his feet. They hung between earth and glory. Because he had to answer the call. Watch him now, watch him now, watch him. Because on, on, on the cross. He can teach us up. Right. On, on the cross. I'm talking about Jesus now. Yeah. In, in the process of asking the call, he teaching you something. All right. uh -huh. The first thing he teaches is forgiveness. All right. Huh? Huh? He, he, listen, you were just saying, Lord, forgive me. Uh -huh. Father, forgive me because we crucified Jesus. You were there to say that. Amen. But he was there. Yeah. Right. He yeah. said it first. Yeah. Huh? Because he knew if he didn't say forgive them, he knew I wasn't going to be able to. <laughs> All right now. So he prayed for me. Yeah. And he prayed for you. Right. That we would have the power to yeah. answer the call. Look at the On the cross. Listen. He looked out there at that woman. Uh -huh. Said, woman, behold yourself. Yeah. So, what? But son, behold your mom. Yeah. Listen. He had to put the relationship thing in order. We done messed it up again, but he had to put the relationship thing in order. Because if he had not put the relationship thing in order, they would not have been able to answer the call. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Them two thieves up there. Uh -huh. There were two of them, right? Yes, sir. One was on the right. He was in the midst of them. Works of iniquity. He was in the midst of them. But look. Huh? Look now. 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 One of them got smart. Uh -huh. One of them got smart. Uh -huh. he, he, he decided. He said, Lord, will not you answer my call? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I, I know I'm going to answer your call. Lord, Lord how about answering my call? Uh, and the people on the right, people on the right saying, Lord, look at him, Lord. I know what I done did, but can you answer my call? Uh, that's what he said, can you? That's what all of got to be saying, Lord, we just answer my call. Uh, huh? I'm calling on you, Lord, to forgive me for my sins. Yeah. I'm calling on you, Lord, to kill me for my sins. I'm calling on you, Lord, that you will save my soul. Yeah. I'm calling on you, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. And the Lord answered. Uh -huh. The thief on the right say, today! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you answer the call today! Yeah. See, see, you, see, you don't know where you are. Uh -huh. See, uh -huh. see you, you already know you. Amen. You already know you. That's how folks don't respond to me right now. I say, hey, okay, what's going on in the world? No, you stay in the kingdom, kingdom you are right. Amen. Folks don't understand it. If you're in the kingdom, God, the king gonna protect those in the kingdom. You got to answer the call to get in the kingdom. Look at him. Look at him. Now listen. Here you hear Jesus. 
making a call. Yeah. Listen now. Yeah, Jesus making a call. Y'all need to learn some stuff yeah. from Jesus on the cross. The fourth word. Jesus said, My God, my God, why did I forsake me? You don't know me all by myself. See, when we get in those spot, we think we know. But Jesus cried to the Father. Yeah. And said, My God, my God, why has you forsaken me? Then they don't know what you do. To that same God. He said, Into your hands. Yeah. I commend my spirit. Yeah. 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 Between a rock and a hard 
place, he heard you. When you were in troubled water, he heard you. When the storm of life was raging, he answered you. What you gonna do about all the people around you who are crying out for help, who need help, don't know they need help. We need to answer the call. Somebody need a friend, we need to answer the call. Somebody don't know where they are in the world right now because of mental issues. We need to answer the call. There's a lost soul on their way to hell. We need to answer the call. Interrupt their flow and stop them along the way. We need to answer the call. We won't smile at folks because we're so holy. We won't give a prayer to be the prayer because we're so holy. Our holiness will allow us to say, the Lord will provide. What that mean? The Lord will provide. I'm hungry. You got a refrigerator full of food. The McDonald's right there, you got a pocket full of money. You tell me the Lord ain't gonna run back. Why are you telling me that? Because you ain't answered the phone. Huh? You don't know you got the power. You haven't received your power. Everybody you answer me like that. Y'all need to answer. The world, this world we live in. See, listen, we're looking for. When you're you sick, when you're sick, right? See, if you give an ounce of prevention, you might not be sick. But we prefer to get a pound of care. And it takes so many pounds to take care of a sick person that you can't carry it all. Yeah. But that ounce of prevention, you can carry the whole thing. You can carry the whole. This is the house of prayer. If you get it like this here, book calls for us to do. And we will just answer the call that is in this book. Yes. That's all we have to do. Yes, sir. That's all we need to do. Answer the call that is in this book. How about that? Amen. 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 For the past 30 minutes, you have been listening to worship at Mount Pilgrim Baptist Church, Reverend Walter Ingram, Jr., Pastor. We hope you've enjoyed this message, and we invite you to worship with us each and every Sunday at our church, located at 1501 Newton Road, Albany, Georgia. God bless you, and God keep you is our prayer.